So the harvest is ripe, but the laborers are few. God said that we should pray to the Lord of the harvest, that he should send more laborers so that we will have workers in the vineyard. In this season, we are now in the month of November. We have less than two months in the year to go. And I believe the word of the Lord for many, including myself, will be it's harvest time. It's time to reap the rewards of the seeds that were planted. Glory be to God. And you know, when I was doing my devotions at 12 a.m. this morning, the Holy Spirit reminded me of this word. And this morning when I went to church, the Holy Spirit quickened my spirit, confirming the word that he spoke to me. And he also said that you are not going to only reap the harvest that you have planted, but you are going to reap the harvest that others have planted, according to the word in John chapter 4. Glory be to God. The word of the Lord said, Jesus said to his disciples that you will reap from what you did not plant, but you will reap from that which others have planted. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I don't know if you, hallelujah, uh, will agree and receive this word today. Hallelujah. But the word, like I said, it's harvest time. It's time that we reap what we have sown and we reap that which we have not sown. Hallelujah. So it is still celebration time. Glory be to God. I declared early in the, earlier in the year, hallelujah, I believe it was sometime at the end of last year, 2018, I declared, hallelujah, that every month will be a month that I celebrated. Glory be to God. And I can tell you, hallelujah, that as each month came and ended, hallelujah, from beginning to end, hallelujah, someplace in there, hallelujah, the word came to pass, hallelujah. I had reasons to celebrate. I had reasons to magnify the Lord. Glory be to God. And so, and I look at my year in review, Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I cannot have be one that say that I, hallelujah, had a bad year. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I'm telling you, the first two days of the year, the first few weeks of the year, hallelujah, glory be to God. It was supposed to be ugly. Hallelujah. It started off, hallelujah, glory be to God. It started off beautifully glory be to God it started off with my faith strong in God hallelujah glory be to God and I can tell you that uh through from that time to now hallelujah my strength my faith hallelujah has not been shaken hallelujah glory be to God it has been increased I am more at peace with myself I am more contented I am firm hallelujah in in the God of my salvation I am planted hallelujah in the rock Hallelujah, which is Jesus Christ. And so, glory be to God, as I say in this video, it's the time, glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. I am beginning to feel like, like, a, like, a, like a princess, you know, a princess or a child of the kingdom. They get what they want. Hallelujah, glory be to God. And that is what this year has been for me. Glory be to God. I have been, hallelujah, it seems, in harvest mode all year round. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And so even at this time in the month of November, 
I am, hallelujah, continuing to declare, hallelujah, that it is reaping time for me. It's gathering time for me. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory be to God. I decree and I declare that the word of God will come to pass in my life. Hallelujah. That there will be no delay. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Any setback that is not designed. Hallelujah. By heaven. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I cancel them now. I abort them now. In the name of Jesus.